Yo, what is going on guys? Your boy Sister here bringing us a Photoshop tour on how to make your own frame animations, frame by frame little animations, also known as GIFs if you want to know. Uh, if you guys did not know, in Google Plus you can actually change your avatar to a GIF. Um, so it's like something that can probably come in handy if you want to go ahead and do something like that or sell these or whatever. I don't know what you want to do. But uh, also in our community you can probably make this into like a new little thing or something like GIF animations, frame by frame work. Because you can just use it more than it's like how I'm going to use it here if you have some kind of like brilliant idea that I can't think of. For a style or something, you can probably be original and come up with some new whole style and just get known or something. I don't know. I'm just trying to help you guys out, figure something out. But otherwise, it's just going to be used for like avatars or something like that, or you know, fun with friends with gifts or whatever. But uh, it's really simple to do. I have my example here for uh, the their arts. You can see how the the text gets all unwrinkly and then you know wrinkly and then unwrinkly and then you have these little things coming. It's really simple stuff. It's just like just basic keyframing and just basic framework with all these other layers clicked in the right frames and stuff. You can also change the timing intervals between the two frames. Um, so anyways, I'm just going to show you guys how to do like the little effect that I did with the little ripple thing. Uh, you can use more than just an effect. You can either just have the thing moving or bouncing around or whatever. Uh, you can just do it like that or you can just have it with like the uh, projection things like scale, rotate, screw. You can mess around with all this other stuff. Uh, I'm just going to be using an effect for this. So anyways, what you want to know, you want to have uh, all your movements or all your, uh, your layers that you're working with inside one frame done before you before you like go about making the new frames and actually putting them where they're supposed to be so that you don't have any screw ups because if you like select the frame and put the like if you had like let's say you had like four frames or whatever and you like add the frame to the fourth one you'll add it to all the other ones and if you had like a lot of work going into it I don't know uh, it would just probably mess you up so anyways make sure you do it in all in one frame and then go about doing it in other frames and then unchecking and checking or whatever uh, but if you work with any basic keyframing or whatever you already know how to do this so here we go so what we're gonna do is just gonna duplicate this about I don't know four times and I'm just gonna name it to the the name that I want or the uh, the number the the keyframe that I want to put it on. So I'm just gonna put this one to five. And uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the first one. I'm just gonna uncheck all these other ones. And I'm just gonna go to the f uh, filter, distort, ripple. And I'm just gonna go ahead and change it to about like 800 or something. Press OK. Uncheck this one. Go to this one. Filter. Oops. Filter, distort, ripple. And then change it to like 650 or something. And then go to this one, click on it, filter, distort, ripple, 450. Um, then go to this one. I'm just going to have to like, make this really low so it gets to zero quicker. And I'm just going to make this like 150. And then the last one's going to be the regular old logo. So anyways, what I'm going to do now is going to make the five uh, frames. So one, two, three, four, five. So what I'm gonna do now is go to the first frame and click on the number one that I had here. So if you had like more than other ones, like if you just put this all in one group and you had more than one movement, you would also select that one and put it on number one and then just make sure none of the other ones are checked. And then what you do is you can go to the second frame now, you uncheck the first one, click on the second one, you go to the third one, uncheck the first one, go to the third one, and then you just continue doing all the same thing until you get to the last frame where you put that one on or whatever. And if I just went through this really quickly, you can see it gets ripply and whatever. It's just really cool if you want to do something with your avatar, like I said. But if you also, before we end the video, I'm going to show you guys how to export as a gift from Photoshop. So you want to go to uh, File, Save for Web. This is also a way that you would save your banners and stuff if you don't save it the right way. Uh, make sure you have like a PNG and stuff. It looks really good and really nice quality when you're doing your banners. But if you want to have a gift, like I said, you would drop down this PNG, go to GIF. And you don't have to change any of this stuff besides if you want to make it loop forever you just want to have it loop forever actually and just click on loop forever press save it'll save it and export it to your desktop or wherever you want to save it and then you're done and then you just put it right on the photoshop i mean put it right into google plus's avatar thing and it'll save and then you're all golden so anyways hopefully you guys enjoy and i'll see you guys later so